what did that Lord in Psalms do? And what did Paul later on do? They 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 swore. You know, okay, or that that Lord in Psalms did swore and not repent, and then Paul agrees with it. David, who numbered Israel for Satan, says. The Lord hath sworn and will not repent. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Now let's see what's written in the New Testament about that. For he testifieth, Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. For there is verily a disannulling of the commandment going before the weakness and unprofitableness thereof. Ah, James 5.12 But above all things, my brethren, swear not, neither by heaven, neither by the earth, neither by any other oath, but let your yea be yea, and your nay nay, lest ye fall into condemnation. So why trash Paul about it when it was David that said, The Lord hath sworn and will not repent? To the chief musician, a psalm and song of David. Praise waiteth for thee, O God, in Sion, and unto thee shall the vow be performed. And what vow would that be? Now Mount Sion is Hermon, per Deuteronomy 4.48. And Hermon is where Semjaza and his associates made mutual imprecations agreeing to take wives of the daughters of men, and giants were born unto them. And it came to pass, when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born unto them, that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and they took them wives of all which they chose. And the Lord said, My spirit shall not always strive with man, for that he also is flesh, yet his day shall be an hundred and twenty years. There were giants in the earth in those days, and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children unto them, the same became mighty men, which were of old, men of renown. And again, from the book of Enoch, chapter 6, And Semjaza, who was their leader, said unto them, I fear ye will not indeed agree to do this deed and I alone shall have to pay the penalty of a great sin. And they all answered him and said, Let us all swear an oath, and all bind ourselves by mutual imprecations, not to abandon this plan, but to do this thing. Then swear they all together, and bound themselves by mutual imprecations upon it. And they were in all two hundred who descended in the days of Jared on the summit of Mount Hermon. And they called it Mount Hermon because they had sworn and bound themselves by mutual imprecations upon it. For this Melchizedek, king of Salem, priest of the Most High God, who met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the kings and blessed him. It doesn't even matter if these guys were kings. I mean, there's not even a, there's not even documentation in the Bible or the Urantia book about these guys doing anything wrong. This is this is like it, it's like a blood covenant. I mean, that's what a lot of people who are under a false assumption about Jesus Christ think about him. It's like, no. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. 
And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. For ye are not come unto the mount that might be touched, and that burned with fire, nor unto blackness, and darkness, and tempest, and the sound of a trumpet, and the voice of words, which voice they that heard entreated that the word should not be spoken to them any more. For they could not endure that which was commanded. And if so much as a beast touched the mountain, it shall be stoned, or thrust through with a dart. And so terrible was the sight that Moses said, I exceedingly fear and quake. But ye are come unto Mount Sion, and unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly and church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, and to God, the judge of all, and to the spirits of just men made perfect, and to Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than that of Abel. And also, so like with this whole order of Melchizedek stuff, I mean, with a third of the Urantia book being entirely devoted to him, like, and they accredit him with every religion in the world today, for the last several thousand years even, and they even said that he didn't die. Yeah. And Enoch never died either. Yeah. By faith, Enoch was translated that he should not see death and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. And Enoch walked with God, and he was not, for God took him. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is abomination. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men, working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. And I'm not even going to read it. Now the weight of gold that came to Solomon in one year was six hundred three score and six talents of gold. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. The beast that thou sawest was and is not and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit, and go into perdition. And they that dwell on the earth shall wonder whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world, when they behold the beast that was, and is not, and yet is. There's something wrong here. And, like, even his name, you know, it shows it, it adds up to 101. It's the same as that symbol, the bullseye. Bullseye adds up to 101. And it's a study of vanity, really. And I'm not even going to read his bull crap to you. I mean, if you can justify, or at least prove some other way, like maybe something else was intended or meant, then maybe, who knows, but it just doesn't ring true. Not me. 
an account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul also, according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you, as also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood, which they that are unlearned and unstable rest, as they do also the other scriptures, unto their own destruction.